For my undergraduate research project, we predicted crop loss in plants due to disease before it becomes detrimental to crop loss. And we did this using healthy and diseased images from public databases and machine learning to identify if those diseases are in any of the images that we get from our users. SIC segmentation creates these things called super pixels, but instead of processing the image as a whole, we'll split it up into parts that are very similar to each other because otherwise the computer can get confused and it'll go through each segment. And if there's any disease segments at all, it'll categorize the leaf as a disease leaf. That way it's like easier for us to analyze the image based on like conformity and like different parts of the image. So the biggest thing that helped me find the position and I recommend to all undergraduates that they take this course is a one credit class called Intro to Undergraduate Research. They helped us learn about resumes, cover letters, how to ask professors for opportunities. And at the end of the course, our professor, Dr. Render, showed us some opportunities on simplicity and she really encouraged us all to apply. And I applied and I interviewed and I got my position. At the beginning, I really struggled with balancing my research and my classes. I would sort of tell myself that I would do it whenever I had the time, but I never really had the time. So I realized about halfway through the semester that I needed to block it out like it was its own class. So I would do it three times a week and I had its own little block so I could do it like that. Professor Saraswat helped me a lot with networking and he would get me in touch with a lot of other professors at campus to talk about my project. Working with an undergraduate student was simply fantastic because of the energy and the attitude that they bring to the research. I really paid attention to what type of attitude they possess and also making sure that they are learning new technology and relevant technology by engaging them with my research staff and graduate students. Anas Ahmad, who was a graduate student, and he would send me like articles and online courses that I could take at the beginning to get used to the information that I needed for the project. And I also worked with Ben Hancock, who was like a technical support person at the school, who would help me with like the technical coding aspects. I would definitely recommend that every student at Purdue tries to do an undergraduate research position because even if you don't like it, you'll learn exactly what you want to do with your career. The other thing I would definitely recommend is making sure you know your schedule and to decide the time that you need to work on your project. Have the right attitude to learn about new advancements in any sphere of science and ask questions in order to succeed. This undergraduate research position really helped me broaden my views of what I could do with my degree, although it did help me realize that I'm not too interested in research or like coding the technical aspects of my degree. I'd rather do something in the field and not too much related to research. The biggest thing that undergraduate research helped me with is that it taught me how to be independent and look for information that I need and be self-guided in my learning. 